When we were kids, the internet was a simpler place. It was slower, and it made a weird noise every time you logged on, but it felt easier, a bit more utopian. All anyone could talk about was Chuck Norris, and a lot of us said RAR XD a lot. That, and we all wanted Half-Life 3. But that era's over, and gaming doesn't seem to have a replacement. Nobody talks about or expects Half-Life 3 anymore, but for a while other games took its place. Tuning into the Game Awards or other gaming advertising showcases, comment sections have been flooded with various memes over the years. Sora and Smash Brothers, Elden Ring, Grand Theft Auto 6, and Silk Song have all had their moment in the sun. But this seems to be fading, and what does that mean exactly? Sora and Smash eventually materialized, and it'll be a while before we get a new Smash, and even longer still before new characters start being added. In the meantime, we wrote in praise of the Elden Ring fanbase ahead of its release for the camaraderie within the community, but a new IP of that scope with equal parts momentum and mystery is unlikely to be repeated. Grand Theft Auto 6 was next to be meme spammed in every useless comment section, but that's since had a reveal and release window that feels so close we can taste it. There's also a little more entitlement, I'll say, from the Grand Theft Auto 6 fans, as well as an impending culture war surrounding its quote-unquote wokeness, which stops it from attaining that same charm as Elden Ring. Next up is Hollow Knight Silk Song, and surely, any day now, this will be revealed and finally put to bed. Once that has a reveal, what do we talk about next? There's plenty of games coming up that I'm looking forward to and you're looking forward to, but none of them have attained that meme status. They're games that'll come out in the future and hopefully be good. Big deal. It could just be that we're in a dry spell and that the next big thing will begin being whispered about soon but we doubt it. There's too much cynicism, too much desire for instant gratification, and we're too used to games taking too long. Sooner or later, gaming's gonna hit a wall or change its ways. An industry can't survive on the biggest releases all taking six or more years to make. For some players, indie games can fill the void, but for big studios, it turns every game into a make or break, which inevitably makes them safer, which makes them take longer, which oftentimes makes them worse. It might just be that this era's over and the lack of chat spam is the canary in the coal mine. Of course, that chat spam was kind of always extremely annoying. Maybe it's a symptom of being old enough to remember that when Chuck Norris does push-ups, he pushes the world down instead of pushing himself up. But I've never really understood the appeal of a chat function where it's just a thousand people throwing words into the void to entertain themselves. The Game Awards has some way to go to reach the prestige it hopes for, and the fact that it encourages viewers to tune in while teenagers spray random words in the bottom right corner is indicative of this fact. So perhaps Perhaps we're not experts on this behavior. I'm sure it won't stop, but it may well end up being replaced by some other meme. Silk Song and its ilk are going the way of Chuck Norris facts. There isn't a game ready to take its place. And I'm not sad because I'll miss seeing a game be spammed over and over in chats, but because it feels like the end of an era. We're no longer collectively waiting on that one big game because we're collectively waiting on all games. We know they all take at least half a decade from teaser reveal to release date, and then they're likely subject to two or three delays on that time frame. Games simply take too long for us to care about some far-flung title in the future. They all just kind of live out there in the ether. Silk Song will draw to a close the era of anticipation. We currently live in the era of waiting patiently. But it begs the question, if we can't get our hopes up for the next big release like that, what's the point? 